Hmm. Welcome, Monday Meditation. As we, um, just checking in, just taking a moment to check in on this Monday, June 19th. We're also celebrating, we're honoring Juneteenth in the United States. And one more click. <laughs> and we just passed a new moon Saturday night and Pacific time, depends on where you are in the world. So new moon, just a, a, a settling, right? A dimming of the light, a, a quietening, even though the days are getting longer. And the solstice on Wednesday, um, whether it's in the northern hemisphere, summer solstice, the longest day or winter solstice in the southern hemisphere so if we think about I talked about this last week the inhale the top of the inhale and this would be reverse in the southern hemisphere but the top of the inhale and the fullness and that pause that pause at the top of the inhale and there is a pause and taking that that moment, that time, that space to really sit, bathe, reflect in that fullness. And then the exhale starts. Um, I don't remember the, the full, of, but there is even, right, as the, as the day gets longer, there is a little stillness before the day starts to get shorter, right? That there is a moment where the days are equal in their length. And in the Southern Hemisphere, it'd be the same. The opposite, it would be that the end of the exhale, that emptiness, and sitting in that space, the stillness of the emptiness before the filling up. Right, and these are important moments of reflection, right, that we often, even just in our own bodies, don't often exhale completely. We don't release things fully. We don't let go of things easily. And the same with the inhale, that sometimes the allowing in can be just as intense as releasing, right? That there's that receiving, allowing, sitting in the fullness, sitting in that the fullness of who we are and what we receive in our body. Just even noticing your breath right now. Good. And let's just play a little bit with breath. Good. So exhaling, we'll start through the nose. So exhaling through the nose. Inhaling through the nose. Three, two, one is a nice doable number. Slight pause. And exhale. Three, two, one. Slight pause. Inhale. Three, two, one. Pause. Exhale, three, two, one, pause. Now we're gonna play with the pauses being as long as the inhale and exhale. So we'll make what we call square breath. So inhale three, pause three, exhale three, pause three. And just noticing how your body responds to the pause, try to soften as much as you can. Inhaling three, two, one, pause, three, two, one, exhale, three, two, one, pause, three, two, one, inhale, three, two, one, pause, three, two, one, Exhale, three, two, one. Pause, three, two, one. We're only gonna do a few more, but we are gonna either switch to four, 
four inhale, four pause, four exhale, four pause, or you can stay with the three. And again, do, do the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Ideally, it doesn't need to be a struggle. It's really more of an exploration. So inhaling four, pause four, exhale four, pause four, inhale four, pause four, Exhale, four, make it lighter, more diffuse, easy. Pause, four. Inhale. Pause. Exhale. Pause. And relax the breath. Noticing what you notice. Noticing what was easier. The inhale or the exhale. Noticing how you responded. Good. And as we write these, the window starts now. So or even probably during the new moon. And so there is this almost stillness. We've also had a lot of sun. We've had a lot of gray skies for a very long time. <laughs> probably not as long as, as we think, but it's really nice to have the sun out. But there is a quietness, a stillness. Even just moving around, people are moving slower, the animals are out, it's quiet, it's quieter. So noticing how that responds in your own system. And the one thing to say is noticing, right? Because sometimes quietness, even the pauses can create a lot of agitation, right? That it can draw our attention to something that we have been uh, wanting to see or feel. So allow that, that everything that arises is okay. That even if there's anger, agitation, fear, frustration, um, or an awareness, or ease, or a sense of relief, right? If something isn't moving and there's a relief around it not moving, or not happening, or there's not busyness, or there's not as much work. Just notice that the one thing that we need or we need more of as humans is kindness and really being with what is happening within us, right? There's so much information around us and maybe even this need to be a certain way, to respond to life a certain way and just giving ourselves permission to be who we are in the moment. But sometimes we feel very... Um, open and in, in, w invite other people in and really want connection and then there are times we need more space just to sleep, to rest um, and that it's all okay. All right, let's take some, just a few moments. Let's do, I wanted to do the seed sounds today. So along the, the chakra line, right, golden thread, if we think about the golden filamentine thread between perineum and crown that threads through the, the energy centers known as the chakras. The perineum being the first, right, our anchor, our root, our security. Our second chakra, the sacral base, our sensuality, our emotion, our creativity. Third, our mind, right? So first, can we consider physical, emotional, mental, right? First, second, third, physical, emotional, mental. Third, our power center, solar plexus, mind, clear mind, focused mind, identity, will, authority. 
fourth heart, seat of compassion, our relational field, um, right, our connection to others. And that bridge between our individuality, our, our I, and the collective or the consciousness, the all. Um, throat, third eye, crown, so expression, expression, what we say, what we hear, uh, our vision, our higher vision, our insight, our intuition, crown, um, the blueprint of our, our incarnation, as well as our connection to consciousness, right? So our, the, almost the template of who we are. Similar to the fifth, right? And that we bring things into form through the fifth. But the template that exists across time in our crown. Okay, so the sounds, we'll go through them. We'll do three, three sounds for each center. So first chakra, L-A-M, lam, la -m. inhaling, la Just noticing, even bring your awareness to that, the perineum, right between anus and genitals in front of the spine, base of the body or root, our ground, our connection to the physicality of our life. the embodiment of our life. The second chakra, right, center of the sacrum, or center of the pelvis, sacral center. V-A-M, V-A-M, inhaling. V -a Notice what comes up when the sound moves through the body. Inhale. Just notice how your awareness either sits close to the center or moves around through the body. Notice the movement. There's no right. There's no right flow of movement. Whether it's more static or more fluid, just notice. Notice sound, color, image. Next, solar plexus. Right below the rib cage. Good. In uh, Ram, R A M. I also think of Ra or Lady Isis, 
between ISIS. Inhaling. Ram. Okay, notice the quality, the structure, color, sound. Is it easier to make the sound? Is it more challenging? Louder, quieter? Good, heart center, yam, y-a-m, y-a-m, inhaling, yam, and you can play with each sound, maybe the y is longer, the a ah is longer, but they all have a different quality. Really feeling into the senses, what you hear, what you feel in your vib in your body, the vibration, just even in the, the movement of the sound through your mouth, your chest, your throat, your ears, throat, hum, H-A-M, H-A-M, inhale. Um. Notice the shape of the sound and the feel, the touch, the felt sense. And the third eye, center of the skull, your inner eye, O-M or A-U-M, OM, inhale, Noticing sensation, heat, tingly, images, colors, feeling, sensing, 
Sim. The crown. NG. N -n -n -n. Just playing with it. Inhale. Just on the roof of your mouth. Inhale. Noticing body, thoughts, images, emotions, felt sense. And then just gently touching, right? So this is your relationship to your energy centers, or the awareness of what is happening. Where is there more energy? Where is there less? Where is there wisdom or something to be revealed or acknowledged? Crown. A blueprint of this carnation incarnation. A sense of connection to soul, past lives, future. Third eye. Your ability to see through, see clearly. See beyond and within. Throat. That ability to bring, bring into form, expression, truth, and what that means to you. What is revealed about yourself that may have been hidden before to you. Heart, love, compassion. relationship and all that that brings the challenge and the beauty and solar plexus right our will our mind our identity, our container. Second chakra, our, our emotion, our sensuality, our ability to create and birth ideas. Our gifts, first chakra, our root, our connection to this life, this body, our health, our money, our home, our 
stability. I'm just feeling the relationships, awarenesses. Allowing it to be almost a gentle bathing, a bathing of light right as we move towards summer solstice. Different in, if you're in the southern hemisphere, but either way, ba bathing in this stillness, either the fullness of the light or the fullness of the dark each having a different quality, each equally important. When you're ready, gently opening your eyes, just a little kind of squeezing, plant yourself back in this body, looking around your space, Right, connecting to your body and seeing the space around you, feeling your connection to the walls and the floor and your furniture or objects, to the light in the room, <clears throat> to this time and space. And enjoy your day and your week.